Hey, what's up everybody? This is Megalink Jolant here. I need to get this out of the way. I've wanted to avoid uh, my channel being involved or discussing about politics for quite some time now, but I just feel like I need to get this out of the out in the open since the elections are right around the corner. So, in case you don't know already, the election the uh, voting day is going to be coming up in uh, like early November. I believe it's going to be November 5th. I think it w it is. So the ballots have already started uh, getting sent out, and uh, this is what it's uh, going to look like. Obviously, yours is going to be like different from depending on what county or state you're going to be in. Like for example, mine is in California. So I need to get this out of the way, like I said. And I'm sorry if this I start losing my words, but this is going to be an unscripted video. It's uh, kind of last minute, so. Like I said, the elections are around the corner. The nominees for presidency are going to be Kamala Harris and Donald Trump. I, most of us have already lost uh, faith in uh, Trump. I'm obviously not a Trump supporter myself, nor am I a big fan of the guy. I mean, and honestly, I have no power over what you guys are going to be voting for. And wh whoever you end up voting for is entirely up to you. I'm uh, not... Again, he's... Uh, in my opinion, Trump has been a failed leader for quite some time, ever since uh, he was elected into office. He uh, hobbled uh, many things like the EPA, NASA, he l kissed a lot of conspiracy theorists' uh, asses. Um, he was just a major disappointment for as far as leaders go, and by far, one, I think one of his biggest blunders was uh, how he handled the coronavirus uh, pandemic in uh, 2020. Now, Kamala Harris, on the other hand, seems like an okay person. Um, I mean, if she ends up being elected as president, she would be the very first female president out in the uh, United States. She had to replace uh, Joe Biden because he had to drop out due to his uh, age and illness. Is and. I can't really remember most of the ads that either Trump or Harris has uh, mentioned myself, but if I were to have to pick a choice between the two, I would rather pick anyone than uh, Trump at this point. Even the, the Republicans are trying to get rid of him at, at, at this uh, rate. And if he were to get elected for a second time, I think it would be the end of the United States as we know it. He, he is just going to make everything just go down to uh, waste as far as we know. <clears throat> Including the upcoming, uh, aside from the presidencies, there are a couple of other uh, props that you can uh, vote. Like in, uh, like in the state of California, there's a couple of them, like Prop 33, 34, 35, for example. I'm not going to go all over them right now, but some of them involve like housing, Medicare, uh, medical coverage for people, and. <clears throat> Obviously, the props are going to be different for where you are going to be sitting in, is depending on the states. I don't know. I, I'm not 100% sure myself. And, um, but again, whatever props and uh, candidacies you vote for, that is entirely up to you. I have no power over this whatsoever. But uh, here's what I think that Trump will uh, will happen if Trump ends up becoming president. He will try and uh, rechange the uh, the Constitution to see if he can try to run for a three-term presidency, even though the law has to change that since uh, President Roosevelt. Uh, he's going to make he's going to cut off uh, people who are living in poverty, as have, have uh, less incomes. He's going to hobble more government officials. He's going to in uh, organizations. He's going to cut off uh, so many uh, things. I am just dreading with cringe on what is going to happen with uh, if if he ends up becoming president again, and I think I'm not the and I'm uh, not the only one who's who's pointing this out. I think a lot of people will be uh, this scared for, at this point if he ends up becoming president too. I mean, I know there are some crazy ra radical uh, Trump supporters still out there in the states, and and. 
it feels like he is uh, coming down. He really doesn't know half the time what, what the hell he's uh, trying to say these days. And the guy has like no filter on uh, his vocabulary whatsoever. He just says whatever comes to mind. He has no repercussions for the consequences of his actions. What he might say. No depravity he wouldn't concoct. And if he gets elected, like I said, it'll most likely be the end of the United States as we know it. Kamala Harris, on the other hand, I think would probably take up where uh, Joe Biden started fixing up most of the messes that Trump made in his uh, conspiracy, in his uh, last, uh, what was that word again? Uh, shoot, it's on, it was on the two. Uh, administration, yes, thank you. Maybe she might handle some immigrations. Uh, there obviously are going to be some uh, pros and cons for how, what she might, uh, what will happen if she becomes president. Uh, honestly, anything can happen at this point. I can't remember everything this is going to say, but, but yeah. Yeah, yeah so I'm sorry. This, the entire thing of the elections that's, uh, it's just honestly really scary. I mean, who wouldn't be? I mean, it was already scary back in 2016 when uh, Hillary and Trump were going for presidency. But yeah, if you haven't already, these are going to be your uh, voting guides, and it's going to be di different depending on where you where you live. It's, um, I'm going to be, um, this is uh, mine again, so... I mean, the deadline for this is going to be November 5th, I believe. I could be wrong. I just need to check my calendar, so... But, yeah. Honestly, the elections are going to be really scary this time. I'm really uh, dreading what's going to happen in, like, 2025. Maybe, Biden, maybe Harris will win. Maybe Trump will win. I don't know. But one thing's for sure... No matter what the outcome is, the elections are just going to be all real clusterfuck. So yeah, I just need to vent this out in the open, so... Happy voting days, and... Make... If you... Shoot, I lost my words again. So... If you have any common sense, I on the other, I will be most likely voting for Car for Harris. I'm not a Trump supporter myself. I never will be. So be sure to cast those votes in, and don't forget to vote. And I hope to catch you all another time. Hey, mega fans! Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please like, comment, hit the subscribe button, and share this video. It would help me out a lot. Also follow me on my social media such as my Facebook page, Instagram, Twitter, Twitch channel for my live streams, and more. And if possible, leave a tip to support me on Ko-fi and Patreon. Thanks for watching again, and until then, MLJ signing off. Until next time, Megalink fans.